America's relationship with China is like trying to play poker with someone who cheats every hand, then cries foul when you call them out. Tariffs? They're not just a policy tool. They're a reality check for decades of bad deals and exploitation. China has been running a racket, slave wages, stolen intellectual property, environmental destruction. Meanwhile, Americans are sold this lie that cheap Chinese goods are essential. No, they're not. They're a crutch for corporations that moved overseas to exploit cheap labor, leaving American workers behind. Let's face it, the U.S. doesn't make as much anymore because we've outsourced everything. People complain, oh, we can't afford U.S.-made goods. Yeah? Well, you'll pay $1.50 for a bowl of garbage-quality noodles from abroad, while whining about a $10 product that lasts twice as long. It's pathetic. Americans used to take pride in made in the USA. Now it's all about saving a buck, even if it means funding countries that undercut our jobs and steal our innovations. Here's the reality. Tariffs make sense. You think China doesn't have tariffs? They tax US goods all the time and we sit here like suckers scared to retaliate. The experts love to scare people, saying tariffs raise prices. Sure, in the short term, but let's think long term. Building industries here creates jobs, strengthens communities, and makes us independent. Stop crying about a hypothetical $4,000 iPhone and ask yourself why we're so reliant on a country that clearly doesn't play fair. Some people act like tariffs will cause the sky to fall. Name one critical product we can't produce domestically or source from allies. Aluminum. We have reserves. Electronics. We built the tech industry. Farming. We're the agricultural superpower. It's not about capability. It's about laziness and greed. Corporations don't want to pay decent wages, and too many Americans would rather buy five pieces of junk instead of one quality item. Let's talk about fentanyl, because yes, it's relevant. A huge portion of it comes from China. You think it's a coincidence their exports include deadly drugs alongside cheap electronics? This isn't just an economic war, it's cultural and political. They're eroding America from within, and we let them because it's easier to outsource our problems than confront them. And don't tell me it's impossible to bring manufacturing back. Look at history. Industries thrived here before globalism shipped everything overseas. Oh, Americans don't want to work low-wage jobs. Fine, then automate. Invest in innovation. Pay livable wages and create industries worth being proud of. The notion that we're helpless without China is laughable. The truth? They need us more than we need them. Their economy is wobbling. Their exports are down. And their government is terrified of losing control. In the end, tariffs are a tool for independence. If we keep avoiding hard decisions, we're selling out our future. It's time for Americans to wake up and realize that cheap goods come at a high cost. Jobs lost, communities gutted, and a nation beholden to foreign interests. Let China cry about tariffs. Let them squirm. It's time to hit the reset button and take care of our own.